Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be testing Simu 1.12.0 versus 1.12.1 in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild to see if there are any performance improvements in this new build. So first of all, let's go over what settings I'm going to be using. Coming to options and scrolling down, you can see I'm using an upscale filter of bilinear, always downscaling to bilinear, keep aspect ratio in full screen scaling, GPU buffer cache accuracy set to low. In experimental, I will be using full sync at GX2 draw done. In CPU, I'm using triple core recompiler with affinity set to all logical cores and host based timer. Coming across the debug, I am not using precompiled ignored. I'm using MM timer accuracy of 1 millisecond and a custom timer of QPC at 1x speed. Switching over into full screen mode, we are now going to test the performance differences between CMU 1.12.1 and CMU 1.12.0 in this great plateau area. The only graphics packs active on either of these benchmark runs are a 1080p resolution graphics pack, the LWZX crash workaround graphics pack, FPS++ and I am also making use of the framerate unlocking graphics pack which allows me to go above 60 FPS in Breath of the Wild on CMU emulator. You may also notice that previously I have stated that I am not using the pre-compiled ignored setting that I always tell everybody to use. Unfortunately, with the latest CMU hook which at time of making this video is 0.5.6.5, that pre-compiled ignored setting is not currently working with CMU hook and CMU 1.12.1. You can however get around this issue by simply marking your pre-compiled folder inside of your CMU shader cache folder as read only. This will basically give you the exact same result as using pre-compiled ignored in CMU 1.12.1. So, as you most likely have noticed, we are not seeing a performance jump in CMU 1.12.1. This is mostly due to the fact that this CMU release is a stability release. I have in fact done several videos showing exactly what these new features are that we are going to be getting in CMU 1.12.1. You can find that video listed down in the description of this one. You will also find my game compatibility guide in which I tested the community's most requested games. Now, since this CMU release isn't actually a performance enhancing release, and since in all of my other benchmarks you are basically going to see the exact same result, and that result is practically identical performance. So that's about it for this CMU 1.12.1 performance guide for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So once again, cheers for checking out the video, I know this one was slightly shorter than it usually is. If you want to help support BSOD Gaming, you can do so by pledging over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. Every single pledge really does help the channel as it goes towards buying either new hardware for testing or indeed buying new games so I can actually showcase their performance. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.